Methods for assessing light interception and canopy cover have gained ground for monitoring forest restoration, since they are related to important ecological processes. In young restoration forests, where canopy is not completely closed, there might be a strong correlation between canopy cover and light interception. It doesn't hold true for old-growth forests, where there are many layers of leaves and one variable may not be a good proxy of the other. In this video, we present four instruments we use to measure both of these variables and try to help you choose which to use. First of all, you have to stick to the goals of your research. For your purposes, do you think it makes more sense to measure light interception or canopy cover? However, we know research always faces constraints as low budget and bad weather conditions, which can influence your choice. Don't worry, we'll take it into account. The instruments are spherical densiometer and camera for hemispherical photographs for canopy cover and septometer and red to far red ratio sensor for light interception. None of them is suitable for windy days when measurements are highly variable. The spherical densiometer is small and the least expensive of all. It doesn't require any specific weather condition. It is somehow subjective though and thus not highly accepted for academic work. Hemispherical photographs are better accepted for publishing, however still a little subjective, since setting the threshold can confound canopy and sky. They don't require as much field work as the densiometer, but much more processing time. You should not take pictures under direct sunlight, so choose to work early in the morning or late in the afternoon. The septometer is a very expensive instrument, but easy and fast to operate. It requires paired sensors and very stable weather conditions though, since you need almost identical conditions over both sensors you're using. It is virtually impossible to use it under variable sky, but if the sky is completely clear, then you need a higher number of sampling spots. It is also recommendable to use it from 10 am to 2 pm, when the sun maintains an approximately right angle to the ground. This would assure that you're taking information from the canopy above you and not from neighbor plots. Finally, the red to far red sensor does not require paired instruments, since it already deals with a ratio of red and far red light. It only works under diffuse light, however, thus the sky must be clouded. Readings should be about 1.20 outside the forest. A practical tip is to look at the ground while measuring. If you see any sunfleck or shade, then stop measuring. If you don't see any of them, have a good work. We hope to have helped you choose the right instrument for your work. If you want to discuss more about it, please contact us at Laboratório de Silvicultura Tropical, University of São Paulo.